everybody, uh, Siegel here, back uh, finally with another part of Silent Hill 3. Well, I say finally, uh, the last part I recorded still hasn't gone up yet as of this recording, um, but that was like maybe two months ago last when, when I recorded that last part, so uh, I guess it's finally I'm recording another part, but when the, when the previous part goes up, you'll see this one not too long after it, but um, no, I'm not in the game yet. Um, but I just wanted to take a quick second to uh, show off the shirt that I bought. Um, it is a princess heart shirt, which, if you were unaware, is one of the uh, costumes you unlock when you beat Silent Hill 3. I don't believe it's in the PC version, um, but in the other versions of the game, um, when you beat the game, you get that costume. So I just wanted to show that off real quick. It's a really nice shirt. Um, so yeah, uh, but... Uh, let's let's get into it. It's been a while since we last since I've last played this game. Um, I believe last time we were playing, we we did some fucking brain math and unlocked. Um, we unlocked one of the fucking floors or one of the rooms, and now I still have another puzzle to do. So, I guess we're just going to get back to that, I guess. Was it this one I unlocked? No, okay. It was the one on the second floor. Um, There's no puzzle for this one, so I don't, I don't know what this one is. I could just Google it and just be like, well, you know. But I didn't Google the other one, so I kind of want to figure this one out. Does she keep her notes? I don't remember. How do I... Is there an inventory button? It's, it's select. Okay. So, memo. I have no idea. I am I, I, like low-key dreading recording again because I don't know what to do here. I've, I've explored most of this area. I have no idea what to do. Hmm. That's not a good noise. Wait, she has a gun? What the fuck? Now, I've already been through this area, so... Was that new? Did, they didn't have... She didn't have a gun before, right? What the fuck? All right, I'm just going to explore this room down here real quick. Did I already read this one? There was a tattooed guy on the rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Uh, ah, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something on my own? On my chest, since I can't... Uh, shall I write something of my own? On my chest, since I can't cut it open to show you my heart. I love Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what tender emotion this image brings. Stanley Coleman. I don't think I read that last time. And I already did this puzzle, so... Uh, yeah, I don't know. And I killed them. Um, I 
Let me see, is that code that I used before in my notes? Because if it's the same code as this, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I tried it. Of course, me, after I figured it out, I didn't write down what the code was. Give him the stomps. Give him the stomps. All right. Um like I should stop until I find out what I need to do. Wait, what? I can equip the perfume? What? Sure. I don't know how I missed that before, but... Oh, I think... I don't... I don't... I remember... One of Stanley's notes mentioning perfume. I literally don't remember which one it is. There's a bunch of these, but I remember one of them mentioning it. Not this one. I think one of them did, or maybe it was a note in one of the rooms. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. But I have the perfume now, I guess. I don't know what it does, but I don't think I, there's no point in me reading this because I've literally already read it and solved that puzzle. One seven eight five. I, I swear I didn't Google that. I just was like, well, I remember there was something I had to do back there and I never did it. All right, fuck off. All right, why did it load? One, seven, eight. All right. Um, where's the save point? Is it on this? Okay, it's on this floor. I'm gonna save. Again, just because I made a 
progress. Um, yeah, we have the perfume. We figured that out. Let's get in there. Alright, what rooms do we have to go through? A bunch of them! Another clock. Health drink. Tissue and an alarm clock. Huh. The clock's broken, but otherwise, no big deal. It's a magazine. Some kind of gossip magazine. Teaching Despair. Hope House. Hope House. An orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen uh, organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, temp, who lives near Hope House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, the reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower, which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It is a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent believer I'm sorry, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber, whatever. Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. Well, that's certainly an interesting note. Uh, something that I'm sure will come up again later. That jerky? I did never use that shit. Wow, everything is locked. Imagine programming all of these doors and just going, yep, they're locked. <laughs> Oh boy, another fucking note. <sighs> Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I have been waiting for this day, for today. The day I'd see you. The day you'd save me. Today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. He Heather, my lover. Heather, my... It wasn't even a jump scare, it just was suddenly there. Oh, you're fucking shooting me from behind. What am I, what's my health at? I'm gonna heal, just. You think you matter, you don't. Literally eat my dick. Like, I mean, it was an auditory thing more than the model all of a sudden being there, but that's so good. It didn't have to jump at me. It was just there. Jesus, that was good. I really like that. Gross, the whole bed stinks like year old sweat.
Why does it have a different ring? That's weird. Hello? Claudia. No, I'm not... Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia. My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? Leonard Wolf. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words, the anger. You plan to kill her, don't you? I'm sorry. She... She killed my father. She's a fool. But she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her ways. But I see it's too late. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here. And I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? I'm not sure myself. But the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I think I can be of help to you. I have a seal. Please. A seal? That's so sus. I mean, we, we did just get a note that said not to trust him. So we're on the third floor right now. Um, so, well, okay. Well, to the second floor we go. Did I already check these rooms? I don't think I did, but they don't, they're, they're locked, so it doesn't matter. Okay, um... Oh, did I not check S8? I mean, I'm sure it's locked, but just for completion's sake, just for, or well, not completion, but just for checking yeah just had to make sure I, I was pretty sure it was locked like the others but just had to make sure um yeah How long have we been going? Alright, we can cut that one there. Um, so, in this part, we use the fucking uh, Polaroid to get the numbers for the door on the third floor. Then we killed some fucking nurses. Like, they were fucking small time. They didn't mean anything. Um, 
we got a call from are we we read uh what i'm assuming to be stanley's last note to us telling us warning us about leonard and then we got a call from leonard asking us to help him uh deal with his daughter who we found out is claudia um in the next part we will uh save leonard and deal with that i guess um if you enjoyed it uh if you're happy to see the series back uh let me know you know do all the youtube shit uh until the next part thank you all have a nice day